So, hey everybody, welcome back. Is it time? Is this like dialogue we've read through? I don't remember, but we are castling. Uh, How about those gasoline prices, everybody? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about how's it. it. How's an honest American supposed to huff gas in this country if it's $4 a gallon? Tell me that. Yeah, it's unfair. How is, how is, how is the hardworking minimum wage worker like myself meant to, meant to sniff glue, huff gasoline... When when these prices are ridiculous, uh, I don't even know. I mean, cause I don't know. It's fucked up, and Biden should be held responsible for this. Yeah, we should push him down. Yeah, let's go. Episode over. We're gonna go do it now. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden. Joe Biden put up that video of the guy saying Joe Biden. Joe Biden, and he's like angry. <laughs> Joe Biden. I don't know what's happening, one. so we're gonna move on. <laughs> the tint of the room slowly changes from the shine of the afternoon to the orange of dusk. A clock lazily ticks away the seconds, counting in the background on the verge of hearing. Listen, all I'm saying is that if, I, and this has been on my mind for a while, but I, if I was the president. I, like, I think, I believe in my heart that if I was the president of the United States, I could have saved us from the coronavirus. <laughs> we need to go stop scratching. No, it's her to give. She's gonna stop you. But no matter how long I wait, the outcome cannot change. The diminutive playing piece makes a small click against the board. Like a wound spring, Hanako makes her move only moments after mine. It's embarrassing. In comparison to the five-minute moves, she seems to know exactly what she wants to do. Mate. Mate. What? Mate. I don't know you that well. A again, what does this make, 3-2? Damn, bitch, you're getting better at this every day. There, she's holding back. I'd never have thought it thought it when I first met her, but she really has a knack for this game. Chess seems to have become popular pastime for the two of us, hiding away in the tea room, playing a game or two after class. From, <coughs> from here, a student outside can just barely be heard milling about. The everyday noises from below remind me a little of my life before Yamaku, though I'm by now well aware that it's life I'll never get back. Fancy another game? I have to finish my homework. It's a yes or no question. <clears throat> but what about this? Hanako points to the tea set surrounding the mostly empty chessboard. Don't worry about that, I've got it. Oh, okay. See you. Later. Hanako departs as I start cleaning up the area. The occasional whistles and cheers from the sporting clubs outside become less frequent, and eventually approaching silence. Part of me still wants to be in some kind of team, since I played soccer and other sports before my accident. Guess it's only normal to feel nostalgic about what I can't do anymore. But I have other reasons than that for my coming here so often, and I don't feel so bad about losing a part of myself because of them. Lily is a good friend by now, and it's the small exchanges I have with Hanukkah that feel especially dear. The small victories I feel every day as I see more of what she's like under her self-imposed <gasps> shell. That's why I come here most of all. As I'm putting away cups and saucers, I hear talking outside the door, pausing for a moment to listen. I can make out that it's Hanako and Lily. Ashby. And it's decided to I'm go sorry. outside. Oh, Ashby's. Oh, sorry. So many mic noises. It's Ashby time. Uh, go outside and investigate. Are you quite sure? I'm sure. Ah, oh, so. Hanako turns to me with a look of mild surprise as she notices my approach. Lily must have caught her just as well as she was about to leave. Oh my, Sal was here as well. You fucking... 
Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon, Stop. Lily. What's up? You gotta go. I I I was hope I was hoping uh, now that I finished with my class represent re representative duties for the day that I might have a, the two of you accompany me for tea at the Shanghai. Uh, it would be nice to enjoy ourselves outside of the school for a change. I'd be up for it. I think Hanako had work to do, though. Dot, 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 dot. It's not all that much. Wow, wonderful. It seems that we're, we're decided, then. There's something Pisao. about this game that makes me want a snack. <laughs> Why? I don't I just want to eat while we play it like so bad i just want to shovel food into my mouth well we're going to a restaurant and you you work here so that's the I'm real hungry. reason i cast my eyes across the cafe as the three of us step in as usual there are only a handful of people around at most and the noise level is quiet background hum oh what's wrong with that girl ah <laughs> joe what Alright, I'm roleplay. Joe! <laughs> What's up? Joe! <laughs> uh, the hold, the hold Lily has on Hanako's arm remains just as it has been the entire slow walk down the hill to local town, though it's hard to say for which reason for Lily's guidance or Hanako's reassurance. <sighs> For a moment, Lily removes her arm from Hanako's to retract her cane as you, Laney, sorry, quickly skitters over to where we stand, but soon replaces it right back where it had been. Welcome to the Shanghai, may I take your order? She gives a deep bow. Well, her well-delivered and professional introduction put her in a good mood. It's a nice change from the norm of for Laney. Uh, uh, just tea, please. Uh, I love tea. <laughs> okay, uh, whatever the fuck you two want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a slice of pie and coffee. Put it in the coffee, please. Just tea, please. Oh, tea, Coming please. right up. <laughs> please take any seat you wish and I'll be back shortly. <laughs> tea, please. <laughs> Laney sneezes really loud and gets it all over the, the, the food. Shuffling to the counter, we make our way to some empty seats by the window in quick measure. Oh. We slip into our seats and the girls on one side with Lily's cane propped up beside them and I on the other. I was hoping the cane would be on the south side like he has company. I realize that Hanako's not doing something that she so often does. Rather than keeping her eyes pinned to the ground and hiding behind her blind escort, uh, busily trying to convince herself that the world around them doesn't exist, she's merely keeping her eyes low and helping Lily around. Are you okay, Lily? You look tired. She lowers her head a little, looking somewhat embarrassed as she let it show. A class representative work can be very tiring, considering that it often means dealing with a student council. Yeah, that dumb bitch. Very tiring indeed. How do the other representatives go? Uh, better than I, but not by much. Shizune is a harsh task maker, no matter whom she deals with. Doesn't sound like you a particularly relished job. Why do you do it in the first place, if it's that bad? Uh, being a class representative is enjoyable. And I can deal with the responsibility well enough. It's just that the people involved are sometimes... You need to gossip. <laughs> she trails off, cutting her words at a rather a opportune spot. It's hard to imagine Lily cursing, but I imagine that if anyone could make her do so, it would be Shezune. Shite! <laughs> the fuck is shite! <laughs> Bloody hell! Hanako looks to be withering uh, a bit. In light of such... Tea is fucking undercooked, you... Bloody Jeez, bitch. Uh, but before I can steer away from the topic, she stands up. The Beef Wellington. H Hanako, Beef Wellington. <laughs> what? Bacon. Biscuits. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, she has to shit. With that, she leaves for the rest of the Hanako got cooked. 
<laughs> I suppose that's the only way to deal with the situation, if that was indeed her motivation. Lily, however, looks a little wounded. Don't worry about it, I don't think it was you. Um, but... I think she's been getting stronger recently. You've seen it yourself. Uh, that went a bit awry. Fortunately, Lily doesn't look offended, and by now I really shouldn't be quite so scared of stepping on that landmine around her. Possibly. Sometimes I find it hard to tell, though. Silence reigns for a moment between two teacups, a pie, and a mug of steaming coffee and beer in front of us. Notice that Lely takes uh, Lely Lely Lily uh, takes special <laughs> care to place the teacup against the tip of Lily's fingers, letting her know where it is. Yeah, because I'm a good person and I'm nice. Here you go. I'm nice. I'm nice. Thanks, Lily. Wanted to Lainey. be coffee black. Uh, th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Lily's judging me for drinking coffee. She thinks it's mud water. What? With a quick <laughs> and silent bow, the bespectacled waitress takes her leave. Her tits Did bouncing. you know that Americans actually invented coffee? Is that true? No, I thought it was the Middle East. No. Yeah, I made it up. I think it was the Middle East. Uh, a farmer, like a goat farmer, found his goats oh. eating uh, a cherry seed. It's not cherry, it's some kind of seed. Mm -hmm. uh, a pitted fruit. You can't believe anything that comes out of Joe's mouth. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And his goats were really hyper, and then he was like, dude, this just, this just stank, dude. My goats Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it was. That's how. The, that's where the coffee bean came from. Yeah, and why is it called a bean? It's a seed. Um, because. It looks uh, like a bean. <laughs> yeah. Just because Mr. Baby was <laughs> What? <laughs> Oh, like these goats. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then, uh, and then he was like at the grocery store, and he was doing shenanigans there, and then he, he caused a big old mess. Oh, that's right. I, I was meaning to ask you something about, and now would be the right time to do so. <laughs> I'm all ears. <gasps> a Hanukkah's birthday is coming up, and I was hoping that you might accompany me. For uh, present shopping in the city this weekend, the oh, big yeah. Hisao oh, yeah. in the big city. Oh, we're going to Little New York. Sheep in the big city. Hisao goes to New York. <laughs> Hanukkah's birthday is soon. I suppose it would be a nice chance to cheer up a bit. Like Lainey, she always seems to be teetering on the edge of either panic or depression. Shut and I have up. seen her enjoy herself much outside of our chess games. Mary Kate. What? Yeah. I was gonna say Hisao and Lily in the big city in New York City. Which one's Mary Kate? Which one's Ashley? Mm, I want to be Ashley. <laughs> I want to be Ashley. She can't be Ashley. <laughs> so yeah. I'm Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> All that aside, learning the layout of the <laughs> city better with a friend, keeping me company, it sounds like a good way to spend a weekend. Sure, I'd be happy to. Have you got any plans for what to do for a birthday party? Yeah, a party seems like it's real up her asshole. Yeah, we should have a surprise birthday party. Yeah, the scare the shit idea. out of her. <laughs> uh, it was... Joe! Oh, I'm sorry, I can't... I'm sorry, my brain can't read that for a second. Uh, okay. Hanukkah... Oh, come on. Hanako being Hanako, perhaps a, a low-key affair would be... See, I could not figure read that and figure out how to do it in in a British voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lily suddenly cuts herself short, leaving me to wonder why as she brings her teacup to her lips and begins to sip. Mmm, that's like good shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's like coke. After a few seconds, I notice Hanukkah <laughs> walking up to us over her shoulder. Lily's hearing must be very good indeed if the sound of the restroom door opening that tipped her off. Oh, true. Yeah. Hanukkah takes her seat once again. She's daredevil secretly. <laughs> Damn, girl, were you frying chicken in there? <laughs> yeah, she can hear that. <laughs> what? She just hears her pee, like, violently. Yeah. You ever heard that? Yeah. Frying chicken? Like... I thought it was you that yeah. told me that, Lainey. No. Yeah, remember where Rouge the Bat, like, and Sonic uh, Shadow the Hedgehog comes out of the bathroom? Oh my god. Remember? Steven, read it. Like, Steven, read it. Hanukkah takes her seat once again and wastes no time drinking in her tea. 
Soon, the three Seriously. of us are Hanukkah. Oh, you piss loud as fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, it's a nice way to spend the remainder of the day's light, and it makes me appreciate the quiet and serene surroundings of Yamaku. I think oh, I'm really beginning to like life here. No, it was, I think that's pretty cool. There we go. I think that's pretty... I uh, almost said bollocks, but that's not right. No. I finish off the last of my coffee and the rest of the mug on the table while the girls talk between themselves. The coffee here is a little bitter for my taste, but still quite good. Better than what I can make for myself in any case. As for sugar, you dumb fucking <clears throat> idiot. The girls' discussion is mainly focused on their respective reading preferences, which does give me a little curiosity about the related topic. Hey, Hanako. I was just wondering, aside from chess and reading, do you have any other hobbies or things you like doing? What do you want for your birthday? She completely stops in her tracks, looking quite surprised that anyone would be interested in asking such a question about her. It takes her a little time to formulate a response. Um, I guess I like singing a little. I'm okay with computers as well, but I don't use them all that much. Oh, she's a gamer? Gamer rage? Yeah, she plays a lot of rock band. She sings with rock band. Yeah. She's oh. really quiet about it. No, she, that's when she's loud. <laughs> no, it's loud. And, and also she's got like she a pisses. Mariah Carey voice. It's loud and proud. And also, she's loud when she pisses. <laughs> yeah. Singing is not exactly <laughs> something I expected to hear. It's hard to imagine her singing voice, given how soft-spoken she is. Lily, on the other hand, simply nods. She must already know all this, since she's been friends with Hanako for, what, a year or something? What about you? Me? She hesitates before quickly flicking her head up and down. It's only logical that she'd want me to talk about my hobbies after she told me hers. Well, there's chess, obviously, but also uh, there's uh, well, there was soccer as well. Uh, though I really can't do that anymore. Reading, which I picked up in a hospital, uh, is surprisingly hard. I'm really boring. I guess I like anal. Lily and Hanako <laughs> look a little put off by the direction this is taking, and I, and the more I think about it, the more I am too. It sounds as if you've picked up quite a few things since your accident. Lily's candor is coated with probably the most positive spin one could put on what said. No, what I said. Hanako, however, is silent. If the situation becomes difficult, her reaction always seems to be withdrawing into silence in order to prevent things getting worse that were physically retreating. Ah! Soft ringing gives us a pause. So Lily reaches into her pocket, it becomes obvious that the sound's coming from her phone. Put in like a, a, a like a funny ringtone, Steven. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Salt or sorry. Okay. So fucking sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. God, it's I'm, okay. I, I I said I was sorry. Yes, what more do you want? <laughs> okay. The loudest she's yeah, ever been. Yeah, great. Uh, Lily gives a quick nod before shuffling out of her seat and taking the call a little distance away to avoid disturbing the both of us. Must be nice to be popular. Hanako smiles, but doesn't take up the hook for a further discussion. I fall asleep. <laughs> I am sitting back and closing my eyes, relaxing as best as I can. It's nice and peaceful here. I wonder what it'd be like to have grown up somewhere like this rather than in the city. Who you got from the city? Looks yeah, like the I shitty. Found something she wants to talk about. The big shitty. Yeah, you could say I was a city kid through and through. I know how to skateboard. It sounds. Whoops. It sounds like a lot changed. It did. I'm still not quite sure what to make of it all, though it's a bit of a culture shock in more ways than one. You must have gone through something like this when you first arrived at Yamaku, right? Imagine most new students would... Not really. Hanako gazes a little to the side, looking unwilling to go on. I tilt my head inquisitively, but a couple of seconds pass with no further answer. Um, but can't we deal with that on Monday? The fallout has hardly settled for the last. 
I understand. I'll try to talk her down. You know what it's like. she's like when she gets locked onto an idea. Or is <laughs> like what is like a uh, schnitzel from uh, Clam and Chowder? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't. Uh, it was unintentional. Rada rada rada. Um. Y yes. Thank you. I'll talk to you later then. Goodbye. Lily's conversation ends with a snap of her phone. Closing, she returns to the table. I missed that. What? Like closing your phone after yeah. a phone call? I love it. Dude, I can do yeah, it again. Flip phones are yeah, great. Flip, yeah, you know, you could do so many cool things with your flip phones. You could throw them up in the air. You could flip them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can drop them and Close they them. don't really break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably a better better way to exemplify the qualities of flip phones. Yes. <laughs> Literally, his conversation ends with the snap of her phone closing. She returns to our table, but doesn't take her seat. She's standing on. This is another thing: is you can't really uh, be. There's not like a satisfying click to end, you know, like a uh, conversation when you're angry on just like a smartphone. Yeah, or like a way to answer it. Yeah, yeah. You can't like slam phones. Yeah, you can't <laughs> throw them across the room anymore. Yeah, yeah, because th those things are expensive as hell. Yeah, and they just break down in a couple years and then just get really angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Need to go? Unfortunately, the class representative work calls once again. I can't come with you. It's all right, Hanako. Um, I'll just be going straight to the student council. There's no need to spoil a fine evening on my account. Besides, if you were to accompany me on my way back to school, who would keep our poor Hassau company? Okay. I can join you again for uh, tea later tonight. If you'd like, I may well need it. We agree on that plan, and Lily says her farewells to the both of us. I fucking love tea. <laughs> <laughs> Taking her cane after Hanako passes it to her. Despite my offer to pay for Lily's share, she insists on giving us her portion of the tea and gives her regards to Lanny as she takes her leave. Like, oh, oh no, wait, that's a that's a 10,000 uh, yen bill. No, <laughs> Lily. Lily, <laughs> wait. And then we're alone. It may be all well and good to leave Hanako and me alone to have some time together, but I'm just, I'm just so fucking ready. We're sitting in silence. I wonder what I must look like to Hanako. I never thought of myself as a scary person, but to have someone my own age acting this way around me makes me intensely self-aware as if it's my fault that she's so troubled. She might get used to people if she were to stop being so cloistered in a Yamaku. Uh, but then again, when people get much older than her, react so strongly after a single glance at her face, she may well feel the same way as I do now. It's yeah. a real catch doubly doobly. If she stays in Yamaku, she <laughs> won't get used to socializing. But if she leaves, any efforts she might try would get thrown back at her by the people who can't deal with her scarring. Old people suck, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I was a burn victim, I'd probably be indoors all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'd be okay with it, I think. Maybe wear a cool mask. Like a cool yeah, porcelain like a mask. Yeah, <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. I uh, want to order something to keep us going. We haven't had much for dinner after all. I don't go brightens and nods vigorously. Glad that I brought the topic up for her. I catch Lainey's gaze and she dutifully comes over to take our orders. Like a good little Lainey. Would you like something else? I'll just have a sandwich special and a hot cocoa. Put the sandwich in the cocoa, please. Bit late for coffee by now. Uh, a Hanako? I'll have the same. But but don't put it don't don't do that dumb shit his how asked for it. Yeah, don't. keep no. mine separate. You know, put the coffee on the sandwich. I hate the other way around. It's stupid. 
With a nod and a bow, Lainey turns on the ball of her foot and returns before the counter, where she busies herself fish, fishing out bread and condiments and working. I just you start know. fishing. She's fishing. She's fishing for the fish for the fish fish meal. Not a word is said between us until Lainey comes back. She smiles and gives us our food and drinks before moving to a customer who's called for her attention. Hey, do it. I give up my prospect and there's a gunshot. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I give up the prospect of having much of a conversation with my companion and decide to just enjoy the meal. Small as it may be. It tastes nice, as does most of the food here. After a few mouthfuls, I know something's missing. Namely, the sound of Hanako eating. Looking back at her, I see Hanako fidgeting a little behind her untouched sandwich. Not hungry. She shakes her head from side to side. Even as she does, the patch of her hair only keeps over the right side of her face. And, uh, she's, it's hiding. It's not that. She, she, Steven, as you're talking, you're like, you're, you're, you're eating also. And then you're like, uh, like flecking, sp uh, bits of food at her face. Yeah, there's a lot of shredded talking. cabbage all over her. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's Dave's killer bread on her. Uh oh. Have you tried Dave's killer bread? Yeah, it killed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it, it didn't kill me. Uh, so, you know, fucking two out of ten. <laughs> yeah, make better bread, you piece of shit. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was all ready to have your share, too. You looked troubled. Is something wrong? Startled by her thinking that I'm the one who looks troubled. On second thought, she's probably right. My face may have given away my emotions without me noticing. She's hardly a dim person, quite the opposite. You made you made the boo womp noise boo -womp. that SpongeBob made. Yeah, the boo womp. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're friends, right? Friend. From the tone of her voice, shrinking posture, looks as though I've hit yet another landmine. This is another reason why interacting with her is so difficult. The self-imposed psychological barriers she puts up between herself and others, including me, and most likely even Lily, to shame that... I think that we are. I'm a little taken off guard by Hanukkah's straightforward answer, all the more so since I was able to give up on getting any reply at all. I see. Am I wrong? Sorry, I... No, it's just... Hearing confirmation of that from you is reassuring. To pick you know, up, I, uh, sorry, I'm interrupting again. But <laughs> like, um, saying "I see" is like so, like uh, something that I learned uh, recently. You know, it, it it's very unnerving to hear that. Uh, to, to like just say "I see" because it's like so open ended. Um, mm. Yeah, but but. Like, I've never had a problem with it, but uh, only now do I realize how many people do. And, like, I say I see all, like, all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why you have to start saying, I smell where you're stepping. Yeah. And then people I'm will never that be... shit. Yeah, you could start saying, I, I smell where you're pooping. And then everyone will be like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, to pick up on what you said earlier, since coming to Yamaku, I've been a bit uneasy about how I should relate with others. By myself chuckling a little, HA! It's surprising how much of a relief that was. I can feel my face smiling as I pick up my cup of hot chalky and bring uh, it to my Oh, it's hot! You spit. Oh yeah, look. Ouch, that's hot! <laughs> you spit it in her face. That's... that's why... That's why I haven't eaten yet. Waiting for my drink to cool down first. I guess I'll wait then. Dumbass you sow. Fucking... <laughs> I guess I'll wait. Ugh. No, he just chugs Coffee. it. Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Slams the cup down on the counter. Has a heart attack. Dies. <laughs> the both of us share a little <laughs> chuckle. Ha ha ha. The situation is, she has like an ugly ass laugh. <laughs> <laughs> she like sounds like a, a velociraptor. <laughs> it, 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 it. 
what? situation, it really isn't that funny, but for some reason, it feels like laughing is the most natural thing to do now. Guess we were both a bit wound up about each other. I was so busy thinking Hanako was the one with something wrong. It took her to remind me that I was uneasy as well. But that, but be that as it may, it still feels a little nice. A little nice to have someone a little nice thinking that way in her own little nice way. <laughs> Following a long, quiet trudge up the hill and into the school grounds, the two of us find ourselves between the two dorms. Regular night patrols pass between the male and female dorms, uh, both for security and to quickly raise the alarm for any medical issues that may arise. The guard currently on duty notices us and gives us a quick nod as he continues on his way. A loud yawn escapes from Hanako's mouth before she has a chance to cover it. I have little doubt she's fairly tired by now. She goes, oh, <laughs> that's how she yawns. But <laughs> I'd better be off to my room. Uh, see you tomorrow, Hanako. Good night. We separate. We didn't kiss. We separate and begin to walk our separate ways before I stop and look back. Oh, Hanako stands there waving to me as she smiles. I smile and wave back to her. And after a few seconds, she turns and walks up to the stairs to her dormitory building, disappearing through the door. Cute. These little moments we share between us feel like a small treasure. One thing is sure, I want to protect that small, delicate smile she so fleetingly wears around so few people. Aww. I wonder about these Fucking feelings. Loser. No, no, I'm not. I have when Hanako's around, and when I'm able to do these things for her, whether they may be the seed of something beyond what we share now. Next time on Subparkade. Next time on Wait, next Subparkade. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, 30 minute mark. Uh, okay, next time. Subparkade. Bye. Yeah. Ooh, Steven, move Bye. the thing. I want to see Chun Li. What? Oh yeah, Chun Li. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'll show everyone. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Wait, there she is. BB. Okay, bye. Yeah, it's fine. Bye. Goodbye. Episode's over. What are you still doing here?